Part of Republicans' 2014 strategy to retake the Senate involved retiring Harry Reid. Well, the majority did turn for them, and today we learn the minority leader will indeed be retiring. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel looks at Reid's decision and who may be next in line. Democratic leader Harry Reid says he will retire next year after 30 years in the Senate. There were questions about whether he could win re-election and if he had the stamina after suffering serious injuries while exercising on New Year's Day. This accident has caused us for the first time to have a little downtime. I have had time to ponder and to think. We've got to be more concerned about the country, the Senate, the state of Nevada, than us. And as a result of that, I'm not going to run for election. The National Republican Senatorial Committee pounced, saying, quote, on the verge of losing his own election, and after losing the majority, Senator Harry Reid has decided to hang up his rusty spurs. During the 2014 campaign, part of the rallying cry for Republicans was fire Harry Reid as majority leader. It worked with nine Republicans winning what were Democrat seats. Kansas Republican Senator Jerry Moran served as NRSC chairman in 2014. It was a significant component, this idea of new leadership. And certainly in the political uh, vernacular, it was very much about fire Senator Reid. My guess is that uh, it's much less fun for a former majority leader to be a former majority leader. Uh, once you lead the United States Senate, uh, I doubt that you like being in the minority. Today, President Obama called into a radio interview to praise Reed's work and surprised him. Is this Harry Reed? It is. Harry, this, this is Barack. Well, I'll be damned. They, I'll uh, be damned. Moran says a big part of Reed's leadership was keeping fellow Democrats from tough votes on the president's policies. In my view, the, the Democrat leader, Senator Reed, was protecting Democrat senators from having to choose between the president's agenda. Uh, the White House and many of their voters back home. The next Democratic leader will be selected by secret ballot in November 2016. Illinois' Dick Durbin, New York's Chuck Schumer, and Washington's Patty Murray are potential contenders. Reed and Durbin endorse Schumer today, yet he is seen as close to Wall Street, so expect a strong liberal push for Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. While many liberals would love to see Warren run for president, some outside groups have already floated her name to replace Reed. At this point, her office says she doesn't plan to run to be Senate leader either. Shannon? All right, we'll talk about it with the panel. Mike Emanuel live on the Hill. Thanks, Mike.